بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. To what to make a task easy and finish it with a good ending. ربي يسر ولا تؤسر وتمم بالخير. Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. How are you? I hope everyone is fine. My name is Shahzad Zaheer. I am the English teacher in Educator Park Plus Campus. You know me very well. Today, 28. Uh, Jan 2021 Thursday I am taking class 8 English. Well, class in the previous Zoom classes we have completed many chapters and the poem. We have touched prose and poem as well, and we learned the grammar too. Today I have uh, brought you some PGT work which is called comprehension. You know very well after doing the poem and prose we complete one chapter, one uh, work from the PGT uh, grammar book, which is chapter number 10. TGT TGT page number is 59. Let's do that. Well, uh, well, class, TGT page number 59. Here it is. And chapter number 10, gardener. Let's read this. Read the poem and answer question that follow. That is comprehension. You remember it very well. The gardener does not love to talk. He makes me keep the gravel walk. The da- the gardener is not loving to talk, and he makes the poet the gravel walk. And when he puts his tools away, he locks the door and takes the key. When he locks the door, he takes the key inside his pocket or anywhere where nobody can have it. Away behind the current row, where no one else but cook may go. Look at these. Where no one but only cook may go. Far in the plots, I see him dig, old and serious. Who is the gardener? The gardener is very old, serious, brown and big. These are the quality of gardener. He digs the flowers, green, red and blue. What he dig? He dig in the garden the flower plants, green, red and blue. Now, nor wishes to be spoken to, and he does not like to speak to anybody, and he doesn't have any wish to speak or to talk. He digs the flowers and cuts the hay. He cuts the grain. He cuts the hay, and he digs the flower. And never ceases to want to play. And he doesn't lo- love to play. He doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. He is very serious old person. Silly gardener. Poet say him silly. Why poet call him silly? Because He always keep himself busy in the working. Summer goes and winter comes. The two seasons are described: summer and winter. Summer goes and winter comes with pinching toe. When in the garden bar and brown, when in the garden bar and brown, you must lay your barrow down. Barrow, the wheelbarrow, the uh, van which is which has no engine. Uh, no wheel uh, no i think they have wheel but they have no engine barrow thela jise kehte hain well be a wheel barrow well now and why the summer stays now the it is the time to summer season to profit by these garden days means the gardener will take the profit in the summer he was digging the flowers and he will get the fruit from that uh, flower it is the profit of the gardener oh how much wiser you would be now the gardener is very wiser because he had been working on the garden seriously he dig many plants to get the profit now he is wiser because he get the profit to play at indian wars with me got it this is the gardener which the gardener was digging and planting and cutting the hay like this now what you have to do you have to complete the question answer which was the instruction above that read the poem and answer the questions that follow the following questions are number 1 name two things which the gardener does not like to do the two things was the gardener does not love to talk here he does not love to talk and he seems he never seems to want to play this and he doesn't wishes to be spoken to these are the things from which you have to take only two things you have to tell only two things question number 2 what does the gardener make the speaker do the speaker is a uh, poet uh, lobert louis steven he is saying that what does the gardener make the speaker do 
he makes me who is who is saying obviously the writer the poet speaker he makes me keep the gravel walk means the answer is he make the speaker to keep the gravel walk this is the thing which the gardener wanted from the speaker the further question you have to answer by yourself from page number 59 and page number 56 this well you will do the question answer till question number 1 uh, till 7 another uh, grammatical work underline the non finite non finite verbs in the following sentences you know very well what are non finite verb which has uh, first form of the verb the gardener does not love to talk this is to talk is a non finite verb he makes me keep the gravel walk what is the verb here keep keep is a verb he makes me keep the gravel walk far in the plots i see him dig what is the verb here far in the plot i see him dig dig is a non finite verb he never seems to want to play to want to play means it is not changing the form to walk keep dig to want to play they are not changing their forms the verb which do not change their forms are non finite verbs they change in different ways but here in this sentence they are not changing their form they are coming in their base forms are the non finite verbs you have to complete this another question is underline the adjective in the following sentence and state the kind you have to uh, look at the sentence and find out the describing words the adjective he makes me keep the gravel walk gravel gravel means gradual walk slowly walk so gravel walk is adjective nominal the kind is nominal number 2 silly gardener obviously the gardener is silly it means it is the word silly is describing the gardener means the adjective always describe any noun or pronoun summer goes so what is the adjective here obviously silly and winter comes with pinching to to is a noun it is describing pinching pinching is being described by the to so pinching is a adjective here which adjective silly and pinching are qualitative qualitative adjective got this how much wiser you would be wiser wiser is adjective to play at indian words with me indian is wiser is qualitative and indian is a proper adjective pakistani indian american these are called proper adjective you have to complete exercise b c and uh, i have made you complete b and c you have to complete a and d by yourself d you will do fill in the blanks with appropriate modal verbs what are the modal verbs you know very well or to should can could you have to complete this exercise by yourself well student your homework is do tgt page number 59 and 60 Ch uh, chapter number 10 the garden exercise a in which i have made you complete question number 1 and 2 you have to do question number 3 till 7 only question number 3 till 7 because i have made you do question number 1 and 2 also i have made you complete exercise b and c so you have to complete exercise d in which you will complete the blanks with the modal verbs which i have explained you in this video uh, if you meet any hurdle regarding this chapter number 10 i will meet you in my zoom class you can ask me the question there allah hafiz till then